What's up, YouTube? So, uh, I was sitting here watching some TV, thinking about honey. No surprise there. Um, and I was thinking about how back in the day, I used to not wear boots. Uh, like rubber boots, waterproof boots. Uh, I used to never wear them. I, I thought they were kind of silly to use in Florida because, you know, we... Um, we're constantly walking through really wet habitat and most of the time you know I'm willing to go deeper than knee deep uh, to get to where I'm going and uh, and so I find it more annoying to walk around with a boot full of water than wet shoes and socks um, and I found you get up in your tree stand you take off your shoes and your socks and you hang them up to dry and it's actually pretty comfortable it's not that bad to deal with I've been looking for an excuse to buy a good pair of you know, uh, muck boots. Anyway, um, I wanted a good pair of muck boots. I'd always wanted some. And uh, this was my excuse to, to get some. Well, I ended up buying some redhead boots. Uh, they were called the Redhead Rack Hunter. They were, they were amazing. Uh, they started out a little bit tight, but since they were lined with neoprene, that eventually compressed and then it, it just fit my foot perfectly. I could wear nice thick socks. Uh, they, they gave me a lot of support, a lot of grip, um, and they were awesome. I used the crap out of them for about, say, a year and a half. Um, and then the sole started kind of coming loose on one side. And I thought about just gluing them. It would have taken me five minutes and they would have been good as new again. Um, but since it's Redhead and it's Bass Pro brand, they have like a lifetime warranty. So I decided to go to Bass Pro and, you know, trade them in and get some new ones. So they had these other ones that were like the same exact boot, but they were two inches taller. They were the same price. Um, and these were called Span Tough. You know, they, they fit pretty tight, tighter than the Rack Hunter did on day one. But, you know, I figured they'd stretch out and it would be fine. I used those for about a week and I just decided they were not for me. It was nice having those slightly taller boots though so you can walk through water that's a little bit deeper. But you know, it was important to me that they fit really well. Like if I've learned anything through figuring out which boot I like the most, it's that it doesn't matter what the brand is, how it's made, whether it's glued or stitched, all of that, yeah, that's all great durability is great but if it doesn't fit right and it's not comfortable it doesn't give you support you're just gonna choose to wear something else so I returned the span tufts because the uh, the guy had actually I'd left my number he called me and said hey we've got the rack hunters in a size 11 like you want it I said awesome I went over there and then it was actually the rack hunter 2 they had replaced the older version and they were now gonna be carrying this other version and they were just a totally different boot. They were thinner walled. They had this mesh on the inside that made them a lot more breathable, which I'm sure would actually be really nice here in Florida. Um, but the soles of them were a lot less um, ergonomic, you know, fitted to the foot. So it didn't really offer as much support as the old version. But it was definitely a really nice boot uh, for the money. And, and I, if it wasn't for the fact that, you know, I use these in cold weather too, I probably would have bought them because I think they'd be great for South Florida. Um, so I upgraded, I paid like an extra 30 bucks, and I ended up getting what I have now. And these are the Red Wing Irish Setter, um, the Rut Master 2.0. Now the Rut Master 2.0, I have to say, is probably the best boot I've ever worn. Uh, initially, I tried on a size 10 and it fit perfect, which is hard for me because even though I wear a size 10 shoe or flip flop, I have really wide feet. So usually right here at the ball of the foot, uh, shoes are really tight on me. Um, and if I get something that's big enough, I usually, it's too loose uh, around the bridge of the foot, which is where you get your support. But these shoes were tight around the bridge and they were loose around the ball of the foot and I thought they were perfect. Um, so I got them and I, I honestly used them for probably about a month. Um, 
what I found is that these boots, they have this this uh, material, they call it like Exoflex. And the Exoflex is basically made so that when you put your foot down into the boot, right around here, around the ankle, it'll stretch out so that your foot can get through. And then once your foot slides through, it compresses. So you get ankle support with this boot. You also get support here at the bridge, which is great. It makes you feel like you're wearing a hiking boot, except you have, you know, a 14 inch rubber boot that you can go through water with. Um, well, the problem is that this Exoflex stuff does not like break in. It, this boot will fit the same exact way that it does when you try it in the store for years to come. Um, I didn't expect that because most boots usually sort of break in. So those size 10s, what ended up happening, there's this tough plate. You can kind of see there's like a protective plate right here on the front of them. And right here across the bridge of your foot, uh, it's pretty stiff. And with those 10s, it was a little too tight for me. What ended up happening is my right foot's a little bit bigger than my left. And when I wear really thick socks in cold weather, Somehow, I don't know exactly how, but that would create pressure on the top of my foot. And eventually my foot would start to go numb. I don't know if it was like cutting off circulation or putting pressure on a nerve or something like that. It was unclear. But what I do know is that wasn't going to fly. So I went back to Bass Pro because they have a 60-day uh, fitment guarantee. So if something doesn't fit, you can go back and, and change it out. I did that, I upgraded to the 11s, and at first I was thinking these are going to be too big, but I've been using them for a while now, and they're perfect. They offer the same amount of support because that whole Exaflex thing that they got going on, it really grips around your ankle um, and keeps your foot in place, even though I now have a little bit of space up in the front, um, and I have a little bit of space on the sides too. So I can put on thicker socks with these, my foot doesn't go numb, um, and, and I absolutely love them. Um, they're about $150 uh, for the pair, um, and, and they have a lifetime warranty, which is really important to me. I, I always go for things that have a lifetime warranty. Um, yeah, and they're, uh, they're pretty warm. They're, they're insulated neoprene all the way up to the top. They're stitched together. You can see the stitching right here um, and down on the bottom as well. Uh, so they're really durable. Uh, they're not going to break apart on you uh, like those redheads did. Um, they've got really good sole on them. Uh, when I walk through mud with them, most of the mud actually comes right off when I pick up my foot. Um, so it's ready to grip again on your next step. Um, it's got this little adjustable, uh, I don't even know what that's called, but so you can put uh, a few layers down inside of there and then uh, tighten it up. Um, so it also has some sort of scent band, which I don't really know if that does anything some of you might care about that so yeah now everything has uh, a, a downside and I will point out there is one thing about these boots that I don't like and that is that the camo on it is kind of like it looks like it's printed on so it's a really like high quality image like you have this like real tree image the problem is it also scratches off when you walk through like really thick brush or sawgrass or um, uh, like thorns and stuff. As you can see around the sides right here, you can see that it started kind of fading out the color. Um, but honestly, I don't really care about that because in the end, if I'm wearing these boots, my feet are going to be so far down on the ground that, you know, nothing's going to really see them. Um, so th that's really not an issue for me. But anyway, um, so if these didn't work out, I had tried on another pair of boots that were going to be the next one that I tried that looked like a really good one. And those were um, Cross uh, Burley Lights. The Alpha Burleys are like super insulated. They're for like, you know, I think it was rated to like negative 20 degrees or something. That's a little heavier than I need. Um, obviously, the, the smaller the footprint, the less crunching you're going to do when you're moving through the woods. So if you're trying to sneak up on something, these are good. Um, anyway, the Alpha Burley Light uh, was like a, a lighter version of those. They have a zipper that goes all the way up the side, which I don't really know how I feel about. 
I don't even think I would use it if I owned them. But they were really comfortable when I was walking around the store with them. So I would consider those. And um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you're looking for a good hunting boot, uh, I would definitely advise you to take a look at these Irish Setters. Um, the Rut Master, that is. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, we got we got a bunch of footage in the making. We, we got so much footage this season that we haven't even worked on yet. Um, so there's going to be lots of videos to come. And uh, if you guys have any questions about these boots, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, you know, like I said, I really love them. Um, and let us know if you want us to uh, talk about any other uh, subjects, any topics that, uh, that you're interested in, any questions you got, just shoot them our way. Um, and again, thanks for checking in. And uh, we'll catch you next time.